dear friends, um, here we are again. This is, uh, this is your dear friend Sagi, and here you are. And uh, look at this. See what this is? That is the old seat to the chopper. And this, this I crafted yesterday in a couple hours. Um, it's the new seat. It's going to be a upgrade for the the chopper since I like the new design so much better that we did on the samurai. I said the chopper needs an upgrade, definitely. I mean, the old seat, it's clunky, it's um, a last model, you know. So I went ahead and cut the tube off level with the <clears throat> with the header, I mean the top tube. And I, I do that so that way I can lower the seat as far as as far as possible. And uh, I'll, I will use the front forks to a salvaged bicycle. And I really like these these front forks especially because it's there's a double a dual bonus here. Not only will it provide us with the shock shock absorption but it will also uh if you'll note there's a a brakes already connected to it so it'll give us like a an extra brake i'm gonna hook up those brakes and it'll give us an extra braking uh, uh braking power in the back on the back wheel so as i put the seat settle here I started asking myself, well, do I want it here or closer to the tank, you know, closer forward? Or do I want it angled or do I want it, um, um, I mean, how high do I want the angle? I, there was like a lot of questions. I wasn't quite sure. I said, and as I sat on it, I wasn't, uh, I didn't convince myself of any single position. So what I decided was, um, why don't I make this seat settle so that it can um, be adjusted, like it can pivot forward or backwards um, on this on these back struts, and on obviously the front will have to too. So, but that's like a that's a new set of parameters it's it's I like it because it's more challenging that way and uh, I've decided to use the things that I have here around the shop salvage to um, to complete I mean to be able to complete the project so here we have the the front the front forks and of course they'll attach to the rear axle or at least a, a location close to it. I decided to use the bottom um, salvage something I salvaged from the from a bicycle, the bottom uh, of the seat. It seems to make sense. It seems to be something that will work. But believe me, I have a little. I had a little pile of salvaged materials that I just pulled out and you know just sort of uh, held up like a puzzle to see how what would work and the way the way I see it I need to make it um, I need it needs to be able to pivot so it can't be like securely attached I mean um, rigidly attached it needs to be attached sort of like how a hitch would be you know where it can maneuver in a certain uh, uh, Um, it could maneuver in a certain way like it has room to move and maneuver and to pivot so it'll have to be able to do that at the tip the front of the seat and uh, the back so it, it's no problem down there where the forks meet the axle that that'll pivot where the back of the seat meets the front springer forks um, I've decided to use a that bicycle, uh, a little piece I used off the bottom of a bicycle, a seat, and attach it sort of like a, a how a hitch would be, you know, like a single point and sort of like a 
holding it under the seat. Sort of like so. And uh, now after I after I see what I'm doing here, I I really wish I would have made that see the front of the uh, the seat. I wish I made would have made that wood thicker in the front. That way it would give me a room a uh, place for me to drill through it and secure it to that tube. But as it is, I'll have to figure something else out. Oh yeah, uh, take a look at this. This is the Samurai, but I decided to go with ape hangers because those short short bars, I mean, they didn't look good. They sort of had a, it, it gave the bike an aggressive, sort of aggressive feel like when I was riding it, which was good. I liked, I liked that, but I didn't like the angle that it gave my hands. And in order for it to work, I would have needed to um, add some foot pegs in the back somewhere. So that way, I, when I lean forward, I can put my feet up on pegs. But instead of all that, I, I thought, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to um put in ape hangers because I know that it it lends to a better like a more relaxed position. You feel it's not aggressive, but it, it feels confident. It feels really um there there's a feeling of, of uh positive. It's really positive feeling to it. Relaxed, confident. And I can appreciate that. It's it's I think it's the best, better of the two riding positions. And so after I got the ape hangers on, I stripped all the instrument panel and uh, the lights and everything really that was attached to the old bars. And I, I held it up to the um, these new ape hangers and I actually liked the way that they sit in these ape hangers a lot better than they were sitting than any of this stuff was looking on the short bars and I mean I, I put a little video so that you can see the the comparison between the two I think I think it looks way better and not only does it look better it feels better I'd like to take a moment to thank those of you well all of you for taking the time to watch the video but also taking the time to consider what you're watching and give me feedback I appreciate that too and I just wanted to say thanks and when I say my dear friends I mean my dear friends thank you until next time